You've got, Claire, this is in the Times, page six and seven. I didn't know this until this week, that children's homes, um, a lot of them are privatised and a lot of them are just, just like care homes. People yeah. are there to make money out of children's misery or misfortune. Yeah. And this is a particularly disturbing story about the owner of uh, one One home. of them. Yeah. Well, it's, it's checks and balances. When you say, when you privatise something with vulnerable people, you yes. take the onus out of the state mm. into the private hands. And what we're finding is, quite rightly, as you've just said about the report, there are people that are not fit for purpose that are taking on the adage of running these homes. And they're saying, in their defence, they're saying, well, we aren't running them, we're putting up the capital for them. But at the end of the day, they're enablers and they're enabling children to, you know, to be really, really, really badly mistreated. So what, what, what's the issue here? Who are we talking about? Well, the issue is from drug runner to children's home boss, few questions asked at the time it was taken over. Inspectors who visited a children's home in Bolton set up by this chap in the, in the Times here, you can see the visual, um, Robert McGuinness, a first time owner who had worked as a plasterer, run a cocktail bar, were so horrified that it was immediately closed because what they saw when they went in Mrs mm -hmm. Ofsted, they could smell, that was the first thing that reached them when they walked through the doors, the stench of not only metaphorical misery but of, of, of faeces, of, of toilets, mm. of, of mm. sickness. And then you would see the children, one child, as remarked in the report, was so, badly, um, treat, was so badly treated, they actually performed PCR on the child even although the child didn't need it. So we've got these privately run homes, not unlike the privately run prisons yeah. that we've now got in mm -hmm. this country, where there are absolutely no checks and balances. Again, it's the vulnerable yeah. that are being abused here. And I'm, sh I'm just so shocked that children now are repeatedly being used in this manner. It's just appalling and it has to stop.